a 3D Paradise um, tutorial, and today we're going to be looking at UVW mapping uh, with 3ds Max 2010. I've modeled a, a simple corkboard just so we can work with some of the common and uncommon uh, unwrapping techniques. We have simple planes, we have a uh, rectangle here for the big corkboard thing, and we also have chamfered edges, which um, cause many people quite a few problems. Um, let's get started. We're going to start off with the basic planar map. So select or create a plane for that matter. I just created an 8.5 by 11, size of a standard sheet of paper. Go to unwrap UVW. Now what this does is it creates a border around the object. And for a 2D object such as a plane, it pretty much makes you able to draw on this more or less. It's a flat surface and you can map a picture on it very easily. Uh, to see this in perspective, go to Element, or Edit, sorry, and this comes up. This is a reference to what you're doing in the viewport. So if you expand this modifier and you click on Vertex, the top right vertex is in relation to the top right vertex here. The same is true with the edges and with faces. Now, right now, this isn't in, per in ratio. You see this is kind of rectangular, this is square. So what you can do mm -hmm. is press Control A to select all the polygons in the object, go to Mapping, and go to Flatten Mapping. And then press OK. What this does is it keeps the aspect ratio of the um, original image. So you'll have to do some rotation because it tries to fit it in as big as possible within this square here, which is where your actual texture will lie. So you, what you can do is just select everything, go to rotate, and just rotate it up. Okay. Once you're done with that, go to move, and just make sure that it's right within your square. Let's just clean this up a bit. Alright. Now, Everything is lined up here. Left is left, and right is right. So, once you have this, you can apply a texture to it. So, go to the press M for materials, and let's just get a texture here. Go to the diffuse modifier, double click bitmap, and browse for any type of picture that you want to have on the. Um, paper. Let me just find my picture here, picture one, and press show map in viewport, and just drag it over there. Now, once you've done that, um, the picture will show up in the viewport here, press F4 to get rid of those lines, and because you changed the aspect ratio in here, the picture has appeared in here with no stretching or skewing. So, that's one of the nice features about that. And next, we'll unwrap a 3D object. So, select the corkboard texture, and you're going to want to isolate the selection. Just drag this thing off the screen. And use the same steps, so unwrap the UBW. And as you can see, you have the same type of planar map right here, except now it's created a box map. So it extends in 3D space, and you have all sides are covered. So if you go to Edit to see what that looks like, it looks pretty much the same as the paper, because this is pretty much the front view of the corkboard, so you can't see the sides. However, if you go into the Faces section and you select them, you can see that they're pretty much all on the same plane, which is a problem. So what you do is press Control a this will select all the polygons, then go to Mapping, Flatten Mapping. OK. This will generate um, a flattened map of everything that you have, all in uh, ratio, so that the textures will come out very nice. Now, first what you're going to want to do is position the top of the corkboard, or the bottom, actually, on the top. So to do that, you just click and drag using the Move tool. So you position it right about there. 
then go to Tools. Um, actually, go to Vertex first. Go to Tools, Target Weld. This will allow you. This is pretty much the same as the Target Weld in um, your normal editable poly or whatever else you have. And it just allows for an easier way to uh, connect these things pretty much. Just click and drag. It should all work out. Now you have a single square, which when selected compromises or composed of both the front and the back. Now what you want to do is select the top piece to figure out which one it is, and in this case it's up here. Drag it down and figure out what is the top of the actual cork port. To do that, go to the vertex and just click it. So you see we have to do some rotation here because I'm guessing that this side is the other one, which it is. So select all these, just move it up for now. Select the main cork board and rotate it. 